The future of transportation may be electric, but they're not immune to tire punctures. When it comes to tire repairs, there's a special consideration many technicians need to keep aware of, sound suppression fall. When it comes to inspection, just like any tire repair, remove the tire from the wheel and inspect it thoroughly for a puncture or leak. Check for signs of underinflation that has gone unchecked so you can determine if the tire can be safely repaired. While mounting, balancing, and inspection of these tires is the same as any other tire, the repair process requires some extra steps. With foam line tires, you'll need to cut and remove a section of the foam to inspect the puncture from the inside. Once you've confirmed the puncture is in a repairable area, pay close attention to the adhesive that holds the foam in place. You'll likely see remnants of the original adhesive on the inner tire surface. This needs to be completely removed before installing any patch or plug. Clean the area thoroughly with rubber cleaner and a scraper. Then, use a low-speed buffer to create an even surface for maximum patch adhesion. From there, follow standard tire repair procedures. For example, drill out the injury with a carbide cutter and install the repair using the manufacturer-recommended chemical vulcanizing cement. Once the repair is secure, seal the area with an inner liner sealer. When it comes to reinstalling the foam, this step is actually optional. If you do decide to replace it, you can use an inner liner sealer to prep the area if the original adhesive has lost its grip. Finally, mount and balance the tire, service the TPMS sensor kit, and make sure that TPMS light is out before returning the vehicle to your customer. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.